Hi guys, welcome to Triple M Trading where we talk about stocks, business, and medical school. So in this video, we are going to discuss three stocks that are market movers for today's uh, stock market. Uh, today is December 10, 2020. It's a Thursday. So we are going to talk about PHA, um, ASEN, and also AR. So ito yung mga, isa sa mga pinaka maiingay na stocks for today. And we will discuss yung day time frame and also intraday time frame nila. Kung ano nangyari today and also how we can trade these stocks. So again, I'm not hyping any others, any stock. So please, please do own your own research. I'm only teaching the newbies out there how to trade potentially if nangyari to ulit next time so they can trade these specific stocks or these specific uh, setups that they can see. Okay? So now let's proceed first to Premier Horizon Alliance Corporation. So I'll show you the chart here of PHA. So this has been part of my watch list for specific reasons such as one, it is having um it is near the 52 week high. So 52 week high has been 0.87 and uh, there was significant volume today and also RSI is above, has been above 70 for the past few days. So as you can see Nag-drawing ako ng isang Darvas box. So, yung Darvas box is um, basically setting your resistance point, which is on the top, and your support areas at the bottom. So, as you can see, on November 27, so November, November 18 and 19, there has been two days of breakouts. So, tuloy-tuloy yan, and then it reached around 0.87, yung wick ng candle na yan, and also nag-close shot around 0.84. Ah, point eighty two, I should say. So ngayon, uh, nag downtrend na siya tuloy tuloy ever since that time, and formed a support area during this time ng sixty eight. So ngayon, when is the best opportunity to buy during these times? So again, um, we have the certain styles such as yung DB fifty, which you call you you may call a uh, Darvas box 50%. So basically, this is a Darvas box. So you there's a line in between. So you know 50 Darvas box 50. So usually you buy pag nagkaroon ng breakout from that Darvas box. So however, makikita nyo if you bought here, basically if you bought during this candle, November December one, um, ang magiging cut loss point mo dyan most likely would be at 0.72. However, mapapansin nyo, from December 2 to December 9, nagkaroon ng consolidation during this area. At hindi niya na-break yung possible 0.72 na cut loss point mo if you bought on December 1. So again, if naman hindi mo pa siya hawak, possible opportunities to buy during these consolidations but that would be riskier. Pero syempre, 0.72 pa rin ang iyong um, cut loss if ever yung time na to. Pero pwede rin buying opportunity if bumibili ka during... Uh, support areas but is a lot more risky riskier so so itong 68 levels pwede kang bumili dito it's a definitely higher uh, higher percentage gain however tayo kasi we want to buy on confirmation candles such as December 1 and also today so why is today a confirmation candle uh, it's a confirmation candle because it broke out breakout of the Darvas box the whole Darvas box not just the Darvas Box 50, and also it is nearing that 52 week high once again. So, nag break siya ng previous resistance mo, which was 0.82, and uh, it closed at 0.84. So, that is usually a good sign. So, hopefully, you were able to notice during this time, nakahanap kayo ng opportunity to buy. And we are going to check that on the 3 minute chart. Okay? Pasensya sa internet, medyo mabagal. Okay, loading lang tayo. Okay, here we go. This is the 3 minute chart of PHA. So, mapapansin natin na nag-open siya December 10. Itong consolidation area na to. So, nag-open siya at around 0 0.75, 0 0.74. So, when do you actually buy kapag ganito yung nakikita mo? So, you would set this resistance, 0 0.76. Ito yung previous na na-reach niya, December 9. And you could check 
past few days, ito rin, isang resistance. Yan. Okay. And also, another resistance would be this. Yan. So, ganyan ang makikita mo. And you would also look at the RSI and also the the volume. So, medyo significant yung volume niya. Pansin mo, uy, dumadami bumibili as compared to before. So, possible buying points would be this candle, around 0.77, or if medyo nalit ka, these candles can also be an entry point. However, not so high of a gain kapag itong second candle yung pagbibilhan mo. So, still, around 4% gain for the day. So, and then, you're expecting for it to break out more and reach that 0.87 levels. So, basically, ganun lang yung entry point during the day. Pero, I advise you na, ako, personally kasi, I look at the day day chart and then, that's where I base my trades rin. Pero, I also check yung intraday para mas maganda yung entry ko if bibili man ako. Ayan. Okay? So, basically, again, this candle, confirmation, then possibly hold, hindi ka naman napakat loss, or during that consolidation, and also again, syempre, during this day. So, yan, uh, yan yung trade for PHA. So, next naman natin would be asset. So, again, ito yung asset trade natin. So, mapapansin nyo, same, same uh, mechanics. So, nakagawa na tayo ng previous video about this before. So, basically, I'm a Darvus Box Trader, volume lang, and resistance areas. And so, review natin konti, confirmation candles, then 30% gain, Darvus Box, Darvus Box Break, 10% gain, confirmation candle of reversal, 11% gain, again, um, Dar Darvus Box Breakout, MA is going up, RSI is going up, um, high volume, also... 12% and again if you hold mo yan malaking laking percentage gain until kasi sobrang uptrend ni Asen so ngayon isipin mo how can I possibly enter this trade so mapansin mo it's also consolidating with the, within this area so it's about to break out so possibly pwedeng mag break out siya or mag retest siya ng support so yun yung possible na mangyari However, makita nyo, pansin nyo, medyo increase yung volume niya for the past 2 days, 20 million siya today, and 4.46 siya. However, however, it's not as near that 52-week uh, high, so parang it's early stage of that PHA breakout. So, we are expecting by tomorrow, Friday, sana uh, it would go up ng Darvus Box 50 na yan. Pero, we are also ready if mag-cut loss tayo within that 6.07 levels, okay? Ganun lang siya, kasimple. So, we hope na tomorrow it would open, I, it would open higher than this price na pinag-closean niya today. Okay? So, that's for Asin. So, next, pag-usapan natin yung AR. So, Abra Mining and Industrial Corporation. So, I don't know why everyone has been talking about this. Uh, I don't know what's the catalyst of this stock, pero I don't trade kasi yung mga ganitong stocks na very volatile kasi nakakatakot. Especially na very conservative ako in terms of my trade. I really protect my capital. So, when is the best opportunity to buy on a daily basis? Ay, tignan mo na natin weekly. Grabe yung pinas niya. Okay, so from a long-term downtrend, most likely. So, may karoon siya ng pump today. The past three days. So, kailan tayo papasok? Okay, sabihin natin that you were not um, monitoring the stock for the first day. So makikita mo lang na nagkaroon ng, ano, ng resistance breakout so, noong December 7. However, a lot of people were already um, buying during this area. Most likely, nag-iipon-ipon na sila. Pero hindi mo kasi sure if aangat yan unless magkaroon ng breakout na ganito. So for me, personally, I would go here sa candle na to. Medyo late siguro. And then, if bumili ako dyan on the breakout, syempre medyo nalita ko, 0.14. That's a solid 100% gain. Okay? Makikita nyo rin on the RSI, grabe yung peak niya. Pero kasi for me, these plays are not as sustainable as every other uptrend like an Ascend and also a PHA or other stocks na mas solid yung uptrend. Pero it's still profitable. So, it still makes you money. So, 3 days yan ha. 100% gain. So, Let's look at the 3-minute chart kung paano nga ba natin tumatitrade. 
makita nyo, chair pattern, ay, uh, stairs pattern siya sobra. So, may mga multiple Darvas box break, uh, Darvas box breakouts dyan. So, may mga potential buying points dyan. Titignan natin. So, again, di ba sabi ko kanina, ito yung buying area. Possible, ito na naman. Possible, ito rin. Yan, nakikita nyo. So, very, yan. So, nag-bounce. Then, break out of the resistance. Then, nag-hold na siya ng support na yun. Then, break ulit dito. Ito yung today. So, December 10. Yan yung today. So, nag-break siya na itong uh, resistance na ito. Then, tuloy-tuloy na siya. Tapos, nagkaroon ulit ng next resistance. Then, possibly buy ulit dyan. Pero, hindi na masyado as profitable as the others. So, mabilis ang benta lang. 10-15% gain. If maliit ka. If today ka lang bumili, um, that's a solid... Magkano ba? Ito. Ayan. 14% if today ka lang bumili. If bumili ka noong December 9, breakout of December 9, ang gain mo would be at least 72%. Ayan. Ganun lang ang pagtingin dito sa stock mo. So, just set your uh, resistances, buying areas, and don't forget to set your cut loss kasi mabilis, mabuhos sa mga ganitong stocks. And ingat-ingat sa pag-trade ng mga ganitong stocks kasi napakadaling ibenta. And I don't think um, liquid siya. So, hindi siya ka ganun kadaling ibenta. Oh well, maganda naman yung build and ask niya so far. So, ingat-ingat lang. So, it's just a warning. So, pero grabe, sobrang daming kumita dito. Congrats. So, sa mga newbies, siguro aralin nyo pa mas, mas lalo kung bakit ito na-hype today ng mga traders. Pero hopefully nakita nyo to by yourself and na-analyze nyo to by yourself na it was indeed the breakout on the 3-minute chart. Pero kung binili mo to because of the hype, because of other people recommending it, then that's a bad sign. So I hope, uh, just to remind you, you have to study your trades. You have to monitor your own uh, stocks para meron ka self-development in the stock market. So yun lang so far for this video. Thank you and God bless.